Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another comparison, but this time I'm doing it a bit more better. Uh, last time, as you know, I used the GoPro. I'm still going to use the GoPro, but last time it was more I had to, I held the Oculus and the uh, Vive, and I sort of moved it. There was a lot of light bleed and all that palaver, all rubbish, and um, I couldn't get the camera to stay an equal distance from it. So I picked up a styrofoam head. This is Bob. Hello, Bob. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out his eye and put a GoPro sort of embedded in there. And we're going to stick him on top of the stick here. Somehow, hopefully securely, I don't know. And um, we'll get some more shots from, two, uh, from both games. But at least then we'll have an exact distance from the lenses as to what I use right now. I haven't adjusted the lenses at all forwards and backwards from um, uh, when I've got them because I didn't even know you could do that with a Vive originally. But we're going to put the camera in, it'll keep it at an equal distance and hopefully it'll also stop any light bleed which is generally what causes the rings on the Vive to appear is the light bleed. So um, let's see how that goes. Okay, we're done with Bob. Here he is. Lovely man. He now has a GoPro in his eye, which is about the same distance that your own eye would be out. Yeah, I think I've done a good job there. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick some uh, stuff on him. What's plugged in currently? I don't think anything's plugged in right now. So I'm going to put the headsets on him and uh, give you the previews and the comparisons of them. And we'll see how that goes. Here we go.